There was Federal Reserve Chairman Jay Powell yesterday uh, speaking in front of the House Financial Services Committee, uh, remarking that inflation is still elevated. More interest rate hikes are on the way to combat that. Joining us right now to talk more about that is the Club for Growth President David McIntosh. David, great to have you this morning. Great to be with you, Thank Marie. you so much for being here. So we were talking earlier that we don't see a growth plan for the U.S. economy. What would be the right policies, in your view, to start getting growth going again for the U.S.? So, and I was sharing earlier, we got to start defending capitalism and not have this mindset that we need to be good central planners, whether it's from the right or the left. But thinking about Chairman Powell, the spending issue is huge. Yeah. When you have a trillion and a half to two trillion of debt every every year created by Congress, that forces him to raise interest rates because of the inflationary pressure. Right, right. And, and so and that's, and that, that was, cut the spending, he can cut the rates, we can get back to growth. I mean, that's why Kevin McCarthy and the Republicans tried to get limitations in place for spending. But, Mark, yeah. we, we heard this from Robert Kaplan, the president uh, of the, the former president of the Dallas Federal Reserve, that the Fed is the only game in town trying to get inflation. They're facing right. this tsunami of spending. And it's, yeah, I mean, you've got the spending working against the monetary policy. Fiscal is working against monetary policy, which is, a, which is a big problem. It's making the Fed's battle even more difficult. And look, I want to ask you, David, about the labor market in particular. Yeah. Because the Fed, it, it seems, you know, comment after comment, Jay Powell is kind of implying that that labor market is too tight, which to me means he intends on breaking it. What, what's your take on that? Yeah, which I think is very risky policy, right? And w when you've got all of the government pressure creating inflation that you just mentioned, to go after the labor market, that means he's going to try to reduce the wage increases. People are hurting with the real effect of inflation. Uh, they're making 15% less in real dollars than when Joe Biden was elected. Mm -hmm. um, and what we want is a robust labor market, but an environment where you don't have this government spending pressure creating all the inflation. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Club for Growth is also concerned that there's a looming recession. I want to get your take yeah. on that because, you know, Kaylee, one other issue when you look at things that are in the way of growth is the regulatory environment. And Joe Biden is promising more rules for, for example, the regional banks. Absolutely. The, the oppressive Biden administration policies are certainly a part of the economic condition right now. And you're seeing across the line how it's having an effect on Americans' bottom lines. Yeah. You see all of this pressure on credit spending, increased debt, people are spending less than they were. How long does the American public keep up with this? Uh, I think it's going to be the next couple of years, and we could seriously have a recession. This year. This year, by the end of the year, all the way through next year. And your point is exactly right. The regulatory overhang means that people won't invest new capital. They don't know whether EPA or SEC or any of these lettered agencies down in Washington are going to change the rules and take away the return on the investment. Mm. And you, you've got an overhang of the impending tax increases because the Trump tax cuts were limited in time, and they need to be restored and renewed. Mm -hmm. Great point. David, it's good to have you this morning. Great to be with you. Thanks so much. David McIntosh joining us. Mark Tepper, it's been great having you all morning as well. We'll see you soon. Uh,